Chapter 305 Intimidating One's Enemies, Entering the Team Fight. He knew that he had resisted this attack not because of the defensive strength of his unbreakable shield, but because of the gap in their cultivations. It also meant the spear was even superior to his shield. It was a weapon that was even stronger than a class 9 soul tool. Shrek wins the second individual elimination round. Zeng Zan announced the result without any hesitation. In the waiting area, the other six from Shrek Academy were all standing up. They were extremely excited. Wang Qiu had crushed her opponents in two consecutive fights. In the second fight, Neng Chen didn't even manage to attack before she conceded defeat. It was a great morale booster for all of them. However, who are you our his brow and gently shook his head. What's wrong? Wang Donga asked, Who are you said, How depleted do you think Wang Qiuo is? Wang Donga was intelligent, and immediately guessed what he was thinking. She shouldn't have used too much in the first fight. Her first opponent was far weaker than her. However, it's different for Meng Hing Chen. Her vermilion clear ice toad was very difficult to deal with. Qiuo was obviously targeting her strategy. She only had one goal, to kill her even if the depletion of her soul power was great. However, Meng Hing Chen was too cunning, and backed out at the last minute. Who are you nodded and said, She's indeed cunning. She only conceded defeat after Qiuo attacked. She couldn't stop after she unleashed her attack, and it was more like a duel between her and the title duel referee. While Meng Hing Chen lost this fight, she wasn't depleted or hurt at all. This isn't a good thing for Shrek later. I just wonder how depleted Qiuo is. From the strike just now, I believe at least 40% of her soul power has been depleted. The accurate number was actually 50%. Wang Qiuo stood on the stage, a look of regret in her eyes. She had been confident in her attack, but she was duped by her opponent. Although she won, she knew that she had lost to her opponent in terms of tactics. Along with the earlier fight, around 60% of her energy had been expended. Even though soul power wasn't everything for her, who had the ultimate strength, the team round would still be affected if she overexerted herself. The golden dragon spear was stabbed into the ground in front of her. Two milk bottles appeared in her hands. Rings and rings of soul power were undulating around her hands. Using two milk bottles to restore her soul power, those who noticed this scene were astonished by her. No one dared to use two milk bottles of the same class at once. She needed to guide the soul power in the milk bottles into her body continuously before it could fuse with her soul power. If she sucked in soul power from two sides at the same time, how should she guide it? Even a title duel wouldn't do something as crazy as that. However, Wang Qiu did. She was able to do so because of her extremely strong body. On the Sun Moon team side, Ming Hing Chen left the stage and instructed the next competing member with a few words. After that, she discussed things with Xiao Hing Chen and the other members, and gave something to this member before he got on stage. Both parties, please step forward and report your names. Zheng Zan was already in the center of the stage. The heartbroken look on his face hadn't faded away yet. The cost of purchasing rare metals to repair the unbreakable shield would be an astronomical figure. How could he not be depressed? It was the main class 9 soul tool that he used. Shrek, Wang Qiu these three words were destined to be greatly imprinted in everyone's mind today. Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. Jing Zabu, this young man from the Sun Moon team was quite short. He was a head shorter than Wang Qiuo and was extremely skinny. He was like a skinny monkey. Both parties, please step back and get ready to start. Wang Qiuo was squeezing the two milk bottles with both her hands. She wasn't walking very quickly, but slowly taking her time. Her soul power was slowly being restored through the milk bottles. Zheng Zan's lips twisted a little. She was stalling for time. However, he didn't rush her. He had personally blocked her strike earlier on, which was in fact unfair to her. Meng Hengchen had made a tactical surrender. Under normal circumstances, she should have at least used her invincible barrier to protect herself, which would deplete some of her soul power too. However, this was the Sun Moon Empire. Zheng Zan had earned his reputation based on his fairness, so now he felt a little guilty. That was why he didn't hurry Wang Qiuo. Ding Zabu wasn't rushed at all. As he slowly walked back, he seemed to be arranging things on his body. As long as he didn't retrieve any soul tools, no one could stop him from meddling with his own clothing. Wang Qiuo took almost a minute to get to her position. She stood straight, turned around, and put her milk bottles away. Her gaze also started to become more focused. At least on the surface, no one could tell that she was depleted earlier. Begin. Ding Zabu moved. After Zhang Zan announced the start of the fight, he quickly leapt to one side. He was very deft. Behind him, at least 15 streaks of lights flashed. All of them were soul thrusters that had been meticulously placed on his body. An agility type, close combat soul engineer. Wang Qiuo also moved. This time, she didn't unleash all her strength. She pulled a golden dragon spear out of the ground and chased after Ding Zabu. She was very quick. Ding Zabu wasn't willing to clash with her, however, and started to run in circles. He used the soul thrusters behind him to adjust his speed. Sometimes he was quick, sometimes he was slow. He was very agile throughout, and started to play a catching game with Wang Qiuo. Wang Qiuo's gaze turned sharper and sharper. She knew that this was a strategy specifically being employed against her. It was obvious that her opponent had seen through her intentions. In addition, she was the strongest member of Shrek's team. Her opponent was trying his best to deplete her soul power. It was likely that Xiao Chen would be the next from the Sun Moon team to compete. Trying to exhaust me, Wang Qiuo snorted, and suddenly burst as she tipped her toes on the ground. She leapt up instantly and used her golden dragon's perception to predict Ding Zabu's movements. She also quickly got into position, and her spear turned into a dazzling golden light that stabbed straight towards Ding Zabu's chest. That instant interception, quickness, accuracy, and burst of strength was extremely stifling. Even though Ding Zabu was prepared, his expression changed as he saw the spear heading straight towards his chest. One layer, two layers, two layers of golden light were released from Ding Zabu's body at the same time. The spear stabbed him. However, it only raked across his invincible barriers. Ding Zabu's invincible barriers retracted, and the spear wasn't able to penetrate through two closely linked invincible barriers immediately. Ding Zabu exploited the momentum of the spear to jump back. He made a half turn in the air, and his soul thruster propelled him away from Wang Qiu again. Idiot. Wang Qiu realized what the Sun Moon team had given Ding Zabu. They had given him their invincible barriers. However, was it possible to use two at the same time? This was evidently a special method invented by the illustrious Virtue Hall. Everyone knew how expensive invincible barriers were. They gave those who had them a second life. However, even the best invincible barriers could only last slightly above 10 seconds before they broke down. Ding Zabu used two at the same time, which was equivalent to spending a large sum of gold soul coins. The Sun Moon team was using money to crush Wang Qiu and deplete her abilities. Wang Qiu stopped chasing after him. She knew that she couldn't overcome his defenses before his invincible barriers lost their effect unless she used the throw of heaven and earth like she did earlier. She didn't chase him, but Ding Zabu came in to provoke her. He lifted a black cannon to his shoulder before firing a black shell at Wang Qiu. The shell blew apart in the air and turned into a huge black web that seemed to be covered in grease. Speed, harassment, and invincible Areas. These were the three things the Sun Moon team thought of to deal with Wang Qiu. What they wanted to do in this fight was to deplete her as much as possible. Wang Qiu could concede defeat. She had already won two fights. It would be fine for her to concede defeat to conserve her abilities. However, she needed to beat one more person before she could rest to end the individual elimination round and start the team round. If Wang Qiu conceded defeat, Ding Zabu would continue to remain on stage. Whatever happened next was likely to disrupt her plan. More importantly, what kind of person was Wang Qiu? For a character as proud as her, how could she allow herself to be led around by the nose by her opponent? The sharp gaze in her eyes flashed repeatedly before she raised her spear. A red glow shone from her eyes. Following this, the soul power that she unleashed was covered by an additional layer of red light. Ding Zabu only felt that his opponent had turned into a prehistoric, ferocious beast. He became
only used her first and second soul skills earlier to defeat Yi Kanjiang. She had also forced Meng Hinchen to concede defeat without even using a single soul skill. However, she had used her sixth soul skill on him. At that moment, he felt that he was going to sustain the entire impact of Wang Qiu or relentless attacks, even though he was protected by the invincible barriers. As for the referee, Yi Kanjiang's death had left him without any confidence. Everyone only had one chance to live. No one was completely unafraid of death, and so Ding Zabu had surrendered. Even though he still had five invincible barriers he could use, and he had more than 80% of his soul power remaining, he was eager to concede defeat. Wang Qiu looked at him coldly and said, "I hope you'll be so lucky in the team round later." As she spoke, her golden dragon spear had already turned into a streak of golden light and disappeared. She took out two milk bottles again before she turned around and walked back towards Zengzan. Referee, we are going to give up on the next few individual elimination rounds. Let's go straight to the team round. After she finished informing him, she walked straight down from the stage. One against three. Meng Hengchen was even among those three. From the looks of it, Wang Qiu was invincible. In the eyes of the spectators, Wang Qiu didn't meet any resistance at all, and beat Yi Kanchang, Meng Hengchen, and Ding Zabu. Among the three, one died, and the other two conceded defeat. When Wang Qiu stepped down from the stage, all the spectators were boiling. However, they weren't cursing Shrek, but blaming the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy. They had lost too badly. When Ding Zabu walked down from the stage, he was given a tight slap. Xiao Hengchen knocked him to the ground. The look in his eyes made him seem like he wanted to kill someone. Idiot. What were you doing? You had so many invincible barriers. Why did you concede defeat? Ding Zabu also acknowledged his cowardice and mumbled. But, but she used her sixth soul skill. I was scared. Meng Heng Chen said, What are you scared of? So what if it's her sixth soul skill? She's only a soul emperor. Do you think that she can destroy two invincible barriers in one shot? Even an eight ring soul master can't do it in 15 seconds. Don't you know that? After being slapped by Xiao Heng Chen, Ding Zabu tolerated the pain and humiliation. However, he reacted when he saw how furious Meng Heng Chen was. He glared at her and said, What about you? Why didn't you try to resist Wang Qiu's attack when you faced her? Why did you choose to concede defeat? Me? Was I in the same situation as you? Do you know how much soul power she unleashed? Meng Hengchen got even angrier seeing that he was trying to include her in this. Ding Zabu snorted. Yes, her abilities will get even stronger if she manages to accumulate her power. However, who gave her the time to accumulate her power? He wasn't feeling subservient, especially after his humiliating defeat. A handsome-looking and refined young man separated Xiao Hengchen and Ding Zabu. All right, all right. We're all on the same team. The fights are over. We have to recover in the team round. Do you think we can win by quarreling? What we need now is to work together. We can't lose the team round. His gaze met Xiao Hing Chen's before he nodded. This young man was in the starting seven against the Tang sect, but he hadn't managed to fight that day. Once he appeared, Xiao Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen's fury calmed down. Xiao Hing Chen patted Ding Zabu's shoulder and said, I was reckless. Let bygones be bygones. However, Zabu, you should know what the result will be if we lose the next round. Or you should remember what the Prince Regent mentioned yesterday. There are still six of us left. We can die, but we can't lose this round. Yes. Ding Zabu wasn't very confident. When he saw Xiao Hing Chen softening his stance, he immediately nodded like a donkey and stood to one side. Xiao Hing Chen turned to the young man and said, It seems like we'll have to change our strategy for the team round. Lan Shu, what's your suggestion? Lan Shu gestured, and all six of them gathered together to discuss their strategy. On the other side, Shrek had a few minutes to adjust their tactics before the team round started. Team leader, how are you? Dai Huobin asked in concern. I'm fine. Let's follow the plan. Wang Qiu said. Zhu Lu, who was standing behind Dai Huobin, revealed a strange look in her eyes and lowered head slightly. Her hands were tangled up in front of her body. Huo Yuao was monitoring them throughout. With his spiritual power, it was easy for him to hear what they were discussing. Dai Huobin still knows how to show concern, even though he's such an arrogant character. Huo's control over them is pretty strong. Or, a strange thought appeared in Huo Yuao's head. After Wang Qiu finished speaking, she immediately sat down in the waiting area and shut her eyes. She tried her best to suck in the soul power in the milk bottles to restore her soul power. Only she knew that she hadn't won the last three fights easily, even though they had appeared to be a breeze for her. The depletion of her soul power in the fight against Meng Chen was especially great. However, she had had no choice. She had had to use the quickest method to defeat her opponents and reduce their numbers to increase their own morale. Although she had exerted herself quite heavily, she had managed to fulfill her plan. She had used up more than 60% of her soul power earlier. If not for the fact that Ding Zabu was frightened, it might have been an even greater number. She needed time to restore her soul power through the milk bottles. Although her speed of restoration greatly increased as she used two milk bottles at the same time, the burden on her also greatly increased. When Zeng Zan's voice resonated from the stage, she had recovered only half of what she had expended. She stood up again and opened her eyes. Her dominant aura surged out. At this instant, the aura that she revealed was even more dominant than before. It was so domineering that it almost tore the huge stage apart. Let's go, she said softly. Her toes pointed toward the ground, and she changed into a streak of golden light as she ascended to the stage. Behind her, the rest of the team followed her up to the stage. On the other side, the six members from the Sun Moon team also went up on stage. Both parties faced each other as they proceeded towards the center of the stage. Zeng Zan was impressed as he looked at both parties. The youths today are indeed very strong. Both parties, please report your names. Shrek, Wang Kiwa, Shrek, Dai Huobin, Shrek, Zhu Lu. Shrek, Ning Tian, Shrek, Kao Jingxuan, Shrek, Lan Susu, Shrek, Lan Luo Luo. Everyone from Shrek sounded very serious. Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Xiao Hing Chen, Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Meng Hing Chen, Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Lan Shu, Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Chu Yi, Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Yi Nong Gang, Sun Moon Imperial Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy, Ding Zabu. After hearing them report their names, Wang Qiu's gaze turned towards Ding Zabu. She looked at him coldly. Ding Zabu shuddered a little as she watched him. Had Wang Qiu's pupils turned vertical, just as they were reporting their names, no one noticed that Huo Yuao's body was already shaking slightly. Following this, a gust of clear wind blew past him. The light around him distorted slightly. Even the rest of the members from the Tang sect didn't sense anything. Both parties, retreat and prepare for the start of the fight. Zhang Zan didn't even instruct them before the fight began. Was there any point? They were arch enemies, and were unlikely to heed his advice. As both parties retreated, they were already fighting through their gazes. When the gazes met, it seemed as if there were countless projections of knives braiding against one another, creating sparks. Wang Qiu suddenly felt something. When she turned around to look at the Tang sect in the waiting area, she saw Huo Yuao. Huo Yuao was looking at her without any expression. There weren't any emotions on his face. Wang Qiu was a little stunned. She squinted, then quickly recovered. She led her team members to their side of the stage. As they turned around, Shrek's team went into their formation. Wang Qiu was standing in front of everyone, the core of the entire team. To her left was Dai Huobin, to her right was Lan Susu. Zhu Lu was behind Dai Huobin, while Lan Luoyue was behind Lan Susu. Directly behind Wang Qiu was Kao Jingxuan, followed by Ningxun. It was the same triangular formation, only with a change in personnel. Xiao Hing Chen and Meng Hing Chen weren't the two frontmost members of the Sun Moon team. Instead, up front was the tall and burly man called Chu Yi. His complexion was very tan, and he was more than
On the other side, Chu Yi felt his goosebumps rising when Wang Qiuo did this. He roared as he thought about how Wang Qiuo was going to tear him apart. His hands clasped in front of him, and a huge circular shield appeared in his palm. This circular shield was silvery white. It had a protruding circle in the middle, and there were flowery patterns all over it. These patterns released gentle soul power undulations. In the center of the shield was a silvery white gem as large as two fists clasped together. As he unleashed this shield, a wave of silver light shone from the gem as Chu Yi poured his soul power into it. This silver light engulfed the entire shield, and even all his teammates behind him. After that, an icy blue halo could be seen extending from Chu Yi's feet. This halo started to spread until it covered the entire stage. Wang Qiuo wasn't just striking a pose. However, she didn't accumulate her power this time. In the next instant, her spear turned into a streak of golden light that shot straight towards Chu Yi. A piercing sound reverberated throughout the entire stage. She unleashed her weapon the moment the fight started. What strategy was that? She followed her spear. Wang Qiuo touched her toes to the ground and burst forward like a bolt of lightning. Intense golden soul power was released from her body. Her first and second soul rings lit up, and dragon scales covered her body. Her teammates weren't slow, either. First, four streaks of light landed on Wang Qiuo's body simultaneously, which caused her to shine even brighter. Shrek's team had Ning Tian, who possessed the seven treasures blaze pagoda, the best auxiliary type martial soul in the world. She was controlling four enhancements at the same time. It was her limit. With her support, Wang Qiuo's aura surged. Dai Hyobin, Zhu Lu, Lan Susu, and Lan Luoyuo also burst forward at the same time. They divided themselves into two groups and lined up behind Wang Qiuo. Ning Tian's right palm was extended to one side of her body. Her seven treasures blaze pagoda started to shine, and streaks of flowing light shot out of her hands. A bright silver shuttle around two meters long appeared in front of her. As she stepped onto it, she drifted up a few feet and followed the others. Cao Jingxuan also unleashed his martial soul. The magical time elapsing clock shone brightly behind him. However, he didn't use any soul skills at this point. His gaze was focused on the entire stage. As the golden light shot forward, Chu Yi shouted and used his shield to block. Dang. The golden light was deflected with a loud ringing sound, and returned instantly to Wang Qiuo's hand. Chu Yi took two steps back as the shield in his hand was struck by the spear, rippling with intense undulations of silver light. While Chu Yi was only a five ring soul king and class five soul engineer, and his shield was a class six soul tool, among class six defensive type soul tools, it was one of the best, and pretty rare. It was a foot thick, and weighed more than 500 kilos. Even so, it suffered under Wang Qiuo's spear, showing how strong Wang Qiuo was. It was very difficult to imagine that she possessed such great strength. However, the Sun Moon team started to retaliate at this point. The icy blue halo spread further and further. It was the lethal poison of the Vermilion Clear Ice Dode. Once this lethal poison spread, Shrek's fighting abilities were bound to be greatly depleted even if the fight couldn't be immediately ended. It was one of the most lethal weapons that the Sun Moon team could use. Ice Dode Venom and Ice Venom Ring. The two teams had already covered more than half the distance between them as Meng Hengchen deployed her soul skills to their fullest. Wang Qiuo was the first to charge into the world of poison. Not only that, but nine balls of silver light also rose behind Chu Yi's back. These nine balls of light drifted up into the air and formed an arc. Following this, nine streaks of silver light shot out at the same time. They wove a web of light in the air, blocking Wang Qiuo's path. The golden dragon spear swept down and clashed against the silver web. However, something strange occurred. Wang Qiuo's strength lost its effect for the first time. She was struck back by a strong rebound force. Behind the Hengchen siblings, Lan Shu's eyes shone with silver light, and her hands were moving rhythmically. The nine balls of silver light revealed there were nine silvery metal balls, each of them as large as a human's head. Lan Shu was the Sun Moon team's main control type soul master. This was also why Xiao Hengchen was very respectful towards him. A control type soul engineer was very rare among soul engineers, but Lan Shu chose this weird cultivation method for himself. These these nine balls of silver light were called the nine glories. Before he started learning soul tools, he was already using the nine glories. Initially, they were created for him by his father. However, they were only a set of class two soul tools back then. Lan Chu had continuously perfected them using his talents and practiced his control of them. It must be said that he could only create such soul tools even though he was a soul engineer. The nine glories were actually nine separate soul tools. They belonged to a category of soul tools called deflective rays. These rays were special, special light waves. They could deflect any type of attack. At the same time, controlling nine soul tools at the same time wasn't an easy feat. In addition, they had to be coordinated with one another. Lan Chu was a rare spiritual type soul master. However, his spiritual power was very pure and couldn't be unleashed through an intermediary like Huo Yuao's spirit eyes. Without his soul engineering profession, he might even be unable to fight anyone. No one would have bothered to nurture him either. However, However, things were different now. Based on his extraordinary spiritual power, he had displayed an extraordinary talent in using and controlling soul tools since he was young. The nine streaks of silver light intersected in the air and seemed to form a barrier that resisted Shrek's first wave of attacks. I'll hold Wang Qiuo, go and settle the rest. Lan Xu shouted. As Wang Qiuo was struck back, she lifted her head to look at the nine balls of silver light. She raised her golden dragon spear once again. This time, she aimed at the sky. The nine glories were also experiencing rapid changes in the air. The nine metal balls gathered together, and nine streaks of silver light shot out, forming a clump of silver light that came crashing down towards Wang Qiuo. Wang Qiuo flung her golden dragon spear out, but it was deflected back by the clump of silver light. Following this, Wang Qiuo punched out with all her strength and struck the clump of silver light. It was destroyed, but she was also forced back more than ten meters. Her distance to the sun moon team increased. Beneath the stage, the expressions of everyone from the Tang sect changed when they saw this scene. They are targeting Wang Qiuo too much. The deflective rays were a huge obstacle to Wang Qiuo and prevented her from using her strength. This greatly restricted Shrek's abilities. Just as Wang Qiuo was forced back, another person appeared beside Qiuo. Rings of light shone from his body and rose. Barrel after barrel quickly took form as these rings of light fused. This person was Xiao Hingchen. Two yellow, two purple and three black soul rings rose from his feet. Seven soul rings. He had seven soul rings. He was a soul sage. This was the first time in the history of the tournament that a soul sage had appeared. Even in the history of Shrek Academy, there had never been a 20-year-old soul sage before. However, Xiao Hingchen had achieved this feat. Countless rounds of artillery fire were unleashed. Dai Hyobin, Zhu Lu, and the Lan sisters were all engulfed, unable to advance. Ding Zabu had already disappeared behind the group and initiated an attack against Shrek's team. Shrek's team was completely suppressed now. No one had expected such a situation. The Sun Moon team had been concealing their abilities until now. Xiao Hingchen hadn't fought it all before and only revealed his extraordinary gifts at this point. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.